Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles and I'm so glad you're here. We are about to have another Friday night fun jewelry bag night where I put together bags of jewelry that the pieces match together the best I can. And you have all loved this series and thank you so much for encouraging me to bring them back again. I did get a little bit discouraged with them because they take so much time to make. So here I am again, I hope you love them and let's get going. But before we start, I will let you know how to purchase. If you see anything you like, please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and let me know the episode number. The episodes are usually called Friday Night Fun Jewelry Bags or Saturday Night Jewelry Bags, something like that. Um, and they'll have an episode number. So let me know that. A brief description of what's in the bag, the bag number, and the price. Okay, thanks so much. And I'll try to get a couple extra pieces at the end of the video that I've been selling. And we'll see if we have time to put those in, okay? Also, I think I'm going to do two nights of the jewelry bags because I just have so many. And I don't want the video to get too long. So look for another jewelry bag night, maybe Saturday or Sunday, okay? Also, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much, all of those of you who have, and for those who are new, please let me know that you're a subscriber. Thanks for that, and ring the bell, click that icon, so you'll be notified when my videos post again. And if you're not getting notified, you have to go on the device that you're watching your videos on, let's say it's a cell phone, and you have to go to your notification center, and you have to allow YouTube notifications, okay? So make sure you did that, or you might not get the notifications on a certain device. So thanks, let's get into it. Okay, now bag number one is quite the stunner. So let's bring Buster over, maybe. Let's see what works out better. And we'll get started. Bag number one, I'm calling Green Star, okay? Now this necklace, I can't remember if I put the necklace on a chain, but oh my gosh, just are you sitting down? If you're not, you better sit down. Here we go. This is a green rhinestone pendant. I hope the camera is picking up the color because it's just beautiful. It's kind of a peridot green with a little touch of olive color. And then on this side, we have champagne colored rhinestones and a couple of them up here as well. And I think there's a few over here too. So it is just gorgeous. I'll let you see it nice and close. And it does have a curvature to, curvature to it. And the stone on the top is Rivoli set. It is so pretty. There's the back, it's in very good condition. I don't know who the maker would be, nice big bale. And I don't think it was on this chain. I think I found this beautiful mesh chain to put it on. It really matches the metal so perfectly and it matches just the color that both stones are giving off. So it is so beautiful, I'm so happy to bring it to you. It measures 18 inches and it has like a star shape to it. It's just so pretty. Now you all know that green is a very hard color to match so that did take me quite some time but I did find these lovely little studs and they are a greenish yellow right about in between the two colors. I'll hold it next to it so you can see. I thought that worked out very very well. So I'm putting those with it and also adding some gold hoops. These are super nice quality. They're about a one inch hoop. I don't know who the maker is, but they are so nice. They're a nice thickness. They're in really great shape. I can't say enough about them. They're just beautiful. And they have the same color gold that the rest of the jewelry has, because that's what I have to try to match as well. Now for bracelets, I would have loved to find a mesh bracelet, but that was difficult. But I have these very pretty gold tone bracelets, 
that together when you wear them, they do have that same sort of texture. So I love those too. Those are eight inches. And then I have this beautiful little vintage ring. Isn't that so sweet? It is an adjustable ring. It does have a tiny bit of wear, but boy, it's an oldie and a goodie. And I will give you the measurement on that. I do like to add rings when they are adjustable. So this is sitting at over a nine, but again, you can close it up and have it um, go smaller. So I hope you love that one too. That's a little prong set beauty. And then another piece. I'm gonna throw in this piece just, you know, as a freebie kind of thing. I do like it with the set. I think the colors are terrific. It's up to you if you wanna wear it with it or not. But there was nothing else it was gonna go with, so I'm just gonna throw it in the bag. You can wear it with something else, or you could wear it with that because the colors do match. But this really is my main set right here. So bag number one is called Green Star and you got your freebie bracelet there. You have your four bangles, eight inch, terrific condition. You have your lovely vintage green ring, so cute. And you're sort of in between yellow and green little rhinestone earrings. Those are new. And some gold hoops. And of course, our lovely green star. I'll show you one more time. Isn't that a stunner? And don't forget about the champagne colored stones throughout the pendant too. Wow, what an eye catcher that is. So in goes that gorgeous necklace. Wow. So I hope you love bag number one right out of the gate. There is Let's see, a couple of earrings and the necklace. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 43 on this set. I think it's worth it. I was talking to someone about how I should price the bags because there's so much work to do. And they suggested that I add the, I add up the pieces to what I think they would sell for. And then I add up the time that I put in. And I said that wouldn't work, it just wouldn't. So I hope that you are happy with the bags and that you do allow me a little extra room for the time of putting it all together. And if you think about it, you don't have to go running around and matching them yourself. And I think in the older days when jewelry sets were sold together to match, it was just a thing. But nowadays, we don't have that quite so much. So I hope that's a good explanation of that and that you like bag number one. I forgot to put a one on it. Can't forget that. All right, so bag number one, green star for 43. Let me know if that's the one you love. Bag number two. I do feel like it's a great idea to always have a set of pearls ready. So this bag is called Pretty Pearls and it's bag number two. Okay, so I have a beautiful glass pearl, vintage set of pearls on an older fish hook clasp. They are such really nice quality. I love the color of them. They're soft, a snowy sort of white color. And I did switch out the necklace that I originally had because I went and saw this one and I said, wow, that's nicer. So I'm gonna add that one. So here you go with your hand knotted faux pearl necklace. They are glass pearls, really lovely quality. Now remember, I have to match the pearl tone as well, which is tough to do, but let me see how we did. Also, the necklace is 18 inches, and I am adding a three inch extender, just in case you wanna wear it a little longer, okay? So there's your extender. And then I have a stretch pearl bracelet. And I think I did pretty good with the color. It's in great condition. These are not glass pearls, but they are all in very nice condition. So there's your bracelet. And then I have, from my own personal collection, 
these little cluster pearl earrings. They are glass pearls again on a gold tone stud. And I just love these, they're so beautiful. So little glass pearls, the color went really well with that. So I'm adding these. And again, they are pierced earrings with gold tone metal. So there is those. And then I'm adding this lovely brooch. I'm not sure if this is a 1928 or not. It does have a little bit of a design on the back, but I'm not thinking it's exactly 1928. I really can't tell, but I do love the brooch. I think it would look great with the ensemble, with the necklace and the earrings. I'm not suggesting you put it here, but you could. I'm just adding it as a brooch for you to wear that ties in all the gold tones, ties in the color of the clasp, and all of that. So you could even wear your clasp this way if you wanted to. So there we go. Bag number two is called Pretty Pearls, and you have a seven inch bracelet, but it's a stretch. You have the awesome glass grape cluster pierced earrings. You have the lovely brooch, your extender for your necklace, and your high quality glass pearl hand knotted necklace. So the necklace is 18 inches and the extender is three. And you can use the extender with this type of clasp. So there you go, bag number two, pretty pearls, quality glass pearl set, and I'll say 30 even on this bag, okay? So number two, pretty pearls for 30. You've got the glass pearl necklace and the glass pearl earrings that are pretty good quality that would probably sell for that um, by themselves, just to let you know. Okay, so bag number two. Now, bag number three, I'm trying to think of all generations and all different kinds of people when I make these. So I've been dying to make a layered bag, and this one's called La La Layers. And this will be bag number three. Now, I've got the necklaces kept together, but I can take them apart now because I've got you here and I can show them to you. So the first necklace is a silver tone, could be silver plated, snake style necklace in terrific condition, and that is 16 inches. And then the next one, oh gosh, it's so pretty. It is tangled up is what it is. It's an 18 inch necklace, but it is gold tone and silver tone. And it just has a beautiful design to the chain. I feel like my lighting or, the, or it's so dark out that it's hard to tell, but it is a two tone. Can you see the gold shining and the silver? And this piece, is 18 inches so you've got that next layer and i also take into consideration the chains and the textures that they have can you see the gold now i think you can okay so that's layer number two layer number three is a really nice vintage chain it has a uh, the old spring ring clasp and a lot of texture on the links so I love that one too. And this is your longest chain at 22 inches. So this is what it looks like layered together. I just loved it. I thought it was so, so pretty. Let me get these down here. Up around the neck part so you can really see how they hang. There you go. So you've got silver tone, silver and gold tone, and silver tone for your layers. And then to go with that, I have a Trafari bracelet. And this has not a hammered look, but a little bit of a, maybe a bamboo type shape to it. It's in great shape. It's signed right there, Trafari. 
and it has an M. Oh, that's for medium, okay. It measures eight inches, and I loved it with the chains. I think it looks fabulous. So there's your bracelet. And then I have these gold and silver tone bead ball earrings on some cute little chains that look exactly like the longest chain. So I love those with the two. Look how that all starts to come together with the gold and the silver. And let's see my light. And then I have another pair of earrings. They are little hoops, and they are also two-tone with the gold tone and silver. So if you wanted to wear the longer ones, you've got the choice, or the shorter ones. So I love that layered set. I think it looks great. And if you were to buy each chain and the Trafari bracelet and the earrings, I think it would be a good buy, but you'd have to consider what each piece costs, okay? So we're gonna put the Trafari bracelet in, eight inches, really great shape. By the way, these are that click back pierced earring. And then your long danglies with gold and silver. And then your chains. And I'm gonna put this back on because it really holds them together nicely. So your one, two, three layered look. That is going to look so, so sweet. And we'll put those in the bag. So that is bag number three, La La Layers. And I'm going to say 43 on that one. Okay. So if you love bag number three, let me know. Don't forget there's a Trafari bracelet in there as well. Three gorgeous chains and a couple pairs of earrings. Wow, we're only on bag number three. Okay, bag number four, you have to sit down. Just sit right down because <laughs> this is a gorgeous, gorgeous necklace set. Okay, bag number four, it's called Peacock Paradise. Okay, I'll bring the necklace out first. It's going to take me a minute because we have a lot of gorgeousness here. So let me get it ready. Oh, it's so pretty. I was pricing these and I could not believe how much crystal necklaces in this style go for. Just astronomical. But look at this beautiful piece. It has four layers, I think. Let me see here. Just have to get it get it right. Well, let me start from the top. There's a lobster clasp, a nice heavy silver tone chain. And yeah, I'm gonna have to need a minute to to get it right because it was sitting in the bag. And then it has just several layers. Maybe four. If I can get it right, I can count it. Okay. One two, three, four, five layers of this incredible peacock AB coated crystal and other crystals too. These are a little bit coated as well with a slight silver color to them. And it even has the smaller crystals as well. So they're all different sizes. Well, maybe two different sizes, the larger and the smaller. Oh, I see. It splits off here in two, and then it has the three at the top. Okay. But it's a lot, and it's fantastic. Once you get it set up, it'll be beautiful. Wow, right? And I did price them, and I want you to go take a look on eBay at what peacock crystal necklaces go for. They're in the hundreds. They're in the hundreds. I didn't realize they went for so much. And that's a lot of necklace right there. So let's see if I can get it to stay. So I can show you what else I have. The exact matching earrings. Aren't they beautiful? They are exactly the matching. They came with the set. And they have the smaller and the larger peacock crystals. They are pierced on silver tone wires and just 
fantastic looking. Like, wow, isn't that so pretty? I think I'm going to be so mad at myself for not keeping this one. But, you know, you got to keep things moving. So that's that. And can you believe I've had this bracelet for a while? Kept looking for something that it would match with. And believe it or not, these are not that easy to match. Some of them have different colorations with them. But here's your bracelet. It looks perfect. Of course, it's a stretch. It has rhinestones around that silver tone. And I also had to match the silver tone metal as well. So look at that. That is so head turning for sure. Bag number four, Peacock Paradise. The necklace is 20 inches on the first layer to 26 inches on the last. The bracelet sits at seven inches, but of course is a stretch, excellent stretch condition. And the beautiful earrings. I didn't even add any more earrings other than this because I just could not top them. It was so gorgeous. So I'm going to put the necklace in first. Oops, it's caught on my little buster. It's quite a piece of jewelry to behold. I probably should weigh it. But there you go again. Wonderful condition. So much sparkle. And in it goes. And the earrings. And your bracelet. I mean, who could not love all that color? It's just precious. So bag number four, I'm going to price it up a little bit because it's just such nice quality and a lot of beauty. Let's see, Peacock Paradise, and I'm going to say, ooh, um, I'm telling you, they go for over 100, 200. Let's see, let me put 85 and see what you think, okay? If you love the set, you'll let me know right away. So bag number four, Peacock Paradise 85. Woo! I wouldn't be terribly hurt if I had to keep the set. So, But I do hope someone is just loves it and is so happy to get it. That's why I do this, to make people happy. Okay, the next set, you may have seen some of the pieces before, but... Um, I've switched pieces around and added different ones. I also have another reason for showing this set too, but this will be, let's see, bag number five, and I'm going to call it Rhinestone Chevron, okay? So I'm showing the set for two reasons. One, because it's lovely, and two, because I have a subscriber named Dawn, and she said that her granddaughter loves rhinestone jewelry. So I thought I would bring this set out and show her, or show all of you. But I do want to give her the first chance for this. And then if she decides on something else, it will be available to the rest of you, okay? So here you go, Dawn. Here's some of the rhinestone pieces that your granddaughter might like. We have a rhinestone chevron necklace that is on this, I think you call it an S chain. It's got the older spring ring clasp, the chain is in great shape, and the rhinestones are beautiful. And that's called a chevron. And there's the back of it. The necklace is 18 inches. And then I have this rhinestone bracelet, I'm sorry. Um, it has a fold over clasp, and it is in great condition as well. Let me just bring this up closer. So there you go with the rhinestone bracelet. It's very delicate and beautiful, but it's made out of that older metal that's got the rhodium plating, so it's really nice. And that is a seven inch bracelet. And then with that, I have these clip-on earrings that sort of mimic the same triangular shape that the necklace has. And they clip on like this. They're nice little clip-ons. And there's the back. So she might want to try some clip-ons, or maybe she already wears them, I don't know. But just in case, I'm also adding these other rhinestone dangly earrings that are pierced in case um, the clip-on is an issue. So there you go. 
your set of rhinestone chevron and we've got your seven inch bracelet your pair of pierced earrings your clip-on earrings and your chevron necklace this was a very popular style and it still is people love that beautiful little shimmer on their neck so bag number five i will say 36 on that okay that doesn't mean other people can't buy the bag you can but i am going to wait a little bit to see if dawn is watching tonight and if she might want that for her granddaughter now just to show you a few other pieces dawn i have this rhinestone necklace as well just got this one today this has a fold over clasp it's beautiful too it's a little bit bigger and heavier than the other one with a nice big rhinestone at the bottom. The shimmer is lovely. I think is there one, there's one stone right there that's a tiny bit dark, just so you know. I guess they say that's what I say when I do full disclosure. There's the back of it. So I'm just showing you a couple more pieces because it's easier this way. And then you can pick and choose a few pieces or you can buy that bag or whatever we'll talk about it in email and also other people too if you love this this is a 16 inch necklace and that's got some good weight to it and i also have this rhinestone bangle type bracelet as well this has some great rhodium plating on it good shape it's probably yep, seven and a half on that one so i've got that piece too and another rhinestone bracelet this could be another set all in itself with the fold over clasp very dainty beautiful rhinestones on this one i think a little more dainty than the last one let's see so i told you i have rhinestone jewelry and i have more than this too and this sits at a six and a half so we've got that bracelet too and then I have this pair of earrings that is a pair of pierced that have those lever backs. And these are nice too. Got three lovely rhinestones, all prong set. I think they are round. They are round. And they would just look great with that necklace, I think. Just super. So you've got this necklace earrings, bracelet, maybe the bangle as well. And why don't I, maybe it would help if I give prices. I'll say 15 on this. We'll do, <clears throat> sorry, um, maybe $12 on this pair. For this bracelet, I would probably say 35, but with the one stone a little bit dark right there. I'll say um, 25 on that, okay? And then we have this other bangle, let's say 10 on that. So just to give you some more choices or anyone else who's watching if Dawn chooses not to take those, okay? So thanks for letting me take a minute to do that. Now on to our next breathtaking beauty, but I probably should stop one minute and just remind you how to purchase because sometimes people are just tuning in and they didn't see the beginning. So if you like something, please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and let me know the episode number, a brief description of what's in the bag, the bag number, and the price given. Thank you so much for that. Okay, next I'm going to tell you to sit down again because the beauty just does not stop. This next bag is, I gotta cheat and take a peek for the bag number. Okay, bag number six. Remember the night I had two bag number sevens? That was so funny. Everybody was putting in the comments, you have two bag number sevens. By then I knew and I was like, oh. Okay, this bag is called Champagne or Ginger Ale. And that is because I have this giant pendant you may remember me unboxing this, 
and it has a beautiful a beautiful setting the back is that and I put it on this incredible chain the chain how do I describe it it's almost like um, it's almost like a mesh but it's gosh I don't know but it's beautiful it has a lobster clasp and it has a very dark gold tone, like a 24 karat color to it. And it goes great with this pendant. It's a super long chain. Wouldn't that look awesome on a long chain like that? It's a 28 inch necklace. I'll put it right here for you and bring that chain around because I just couldn't believe how great it went together. And I found this rhinestone bracelet Look at the color of those stones. They are champagne or ginger ale. What do you think? And this is in super nice condition. It looks like it's on brass. And it's one of those types of stretch that stretches, but the metal catches. You know, the metal links catch each other. Sorry about that focus. But I loved it with that. It just goes really well. So imagine all of this. The chain is shimmering. This is blowing people away. And then this on your wrist as well. Wow. Now to find a gold color that matched the chain was, it took me hours and I couldn't find anything. So I'm going to add these really high quality vintage sort of clip on but pierced earrings. I just don't know who made these, but the, the quality is out of this world. So they clip that way. I wish I could convey to you how thick and beautiful they are. But I thought the color of the metal was pretty close and that little bit of texture was just what the set needed. So there's your pair of earrings, really nice quality on those. And then I'm adding just a pair of simple stud earrings. And these two, they were a different color gold tone that went very, very well with that set. So I hope you love that champagne or ginger ale. And that is bag number six. You've got your bracelet that measures six and three quarters, but it's a stretch. Rhinestone bracelet and these really heavy, good style earrings. Your other stud earrings. Again, all the metals go together well. And just this beautiful necklace. Champagne or ginger ale. Some people call that stone ginger ale. And some call it champagne. And 28 long inches on that necklace. So I hope you love that bag. Let's see. And this one, I will say... Let's do 38 on that, okay? So bag number six is 38. Just some great vintage chains I was able to pull together in these bags of jewelry. They're just so much fun. Okay, next is a red set of jewelry, and red jewelry is really hard to find. And this one is called Red AB, okay? I gotta cheat again and look over. Okay, bag number seven. Let's try not to make two bag sevens. <laughs> All right, now let's get you the necklace first. Try to sneak over here and bring it over to lead up to the set as I'm building it. Okay, there's your red AB necklace. It has a lot of extenders. The chain is in excellent condition, silver tone. Some of the beads are stationed, and you have three layers of red crystal glass AB coated rhinestones with those, I want to say roundels in between them, but I'm not sure what those are called. But nonetheless, they have crystals in, in them, and then the next layer is just silver tone pieces as well. So beautiful red. AB crystal faceted glass necklace, three layers. The neck is kind of small, so I could get it in view on the desk, but let me just show you how it goes. So 
not so beautiful. I guess I pull it this way. Oh yeah, that helps. So red AB crystals, not easy to find. Now to go with that, I'm sorry, the necklace is 18 to 22 inches. So 18 to the first drop and 22 at the last one. Now to go with these, remember I have to find red faceted beads with silver tone findings. So I found these. Now they're not AB coated, but I think they look fantastic with the necklace. I love these little tiny red rhinestones on the top of the earrings and the chunkiness of them. They just say, hey, I'm important, look at me. And they are pierced. So I thought that was a great match. And then I'm adding these much brighter, super fiery red rhinestone earrings. They're on a silver tone metal, but a little bit to the darker side. And they are just glorious too. And I think they do a real good job with that set too. They have the same red tone to them. So there's another pair of earrings for you. And then I have this red rhinestone bracelet that is on a really good stretch, silver tone metal on the back. They're all prong set and the match is marvelous. So there you go for some red jewelry. That is hard to find. I'm so excited I got to pull that together today. So in goes your pretty good weight on those pierced earrings with red glass stones. And then you've got your faceted earrings, your lovely prong set stretch bracelet that sat at a seven inch, but of course is a stretch. And then your lovely red AB necklace. Now fully extended is the, the measurement that I gave you from 18 to 22 inches. So there you go, it's a beauty, another sparkly beauty. And this is bag number seven called Red AB. And I'm gonna say 43 on this. And if you love it, let me know, bag number seven for 43. Okay. Like I said, I have double this amount of bags, but I'll probably make two episodes this weekend. Now, next is called Avon Pretty in Pink. And Avon pieces are selling really well um, on, you know, different platforms and things. So I'm happy to have them in sets in my jewelry bags. So the first piece is a silver tone necklace. And I think the chain, I might have put the pendant on the chain. I don't think the chain is Avon, but it's a silver tone snake chain with a good extender on it in great shape. And then I have this beautiful Avon pink rhinestone pendant with um, pave halo crystals around it. And on the back, I believe it's signed Avon. And I love how it's open like that to let you see the light through that beautiful stone. So there is your Avon pink rhinestone necklace. And I have tourmaline on there, but it does not test as tourmaline. So I think I'll cross that out just so it doesn't get confusing. But it is crystal glass. So we've got that. And then to go with those, or that piece, I have some Avon earrings that are also pink rhinestones. They don't have the, the halo pave stones around them, but they do have an adorable little rhinestone on the top. Silver tone pierced earrings. And they are signed somewhere Avon on here. Maybe up on the hooks or something. Not sure, but those are the earrings that I have put with that set. And then I have some bangles, textured silver tone. I thought the silver matched very well. The pink was difficult to match as far as finding a bracelet. So it's always fun to add a little shimmer to your wrist with some silver tone bracelets that are in great shape. And maybe you've got something else pink that you can add to it. 
Or maybe that's enough. I don't know. Come on, stay on there. All right, so we've got bag number eight. Avon, pretty in pink. And you've got some pierced earrings. Some lovely bangles, eight inch, three of them. And your Avon pendant necklace that is 18 to 20 inches. So it's 18 and then fully extended is 20. So I hope you love that beautiful little set. And Avon pretty in pink. I will say 25 on that, okay? So bag number eight is 25. Bag number nine is one of those necklaces that I hate to let go, but I'm gonna do it. And I'm calling this one Rosy Japan. Okay, so let's start with the necklace. It's a long flapper style necklace, glass beads, it's so beautiful. <gasps> okay, here's the clasp. It's a beautiful soft pink color and it has this box clasp right here in silver tone and it is marked Japan right there on the side. Now it is so long, now don't worry about that little space right here because you need that space when you have a necklace this long. You've got to have a little bit of room on it in order for all those beads to move. So here you go. Look how beautiful these pink glass faux pearls are. And they just go on and on. It is 56 inches long. So let's do what we do and just kind of bring it together maybe into three. Yes, let's bring it together into three. Isn't that so, the color is just stunning. I love it, love it, love it. And then of course I've got a scarf clip to add to it if you'd like to add a little bit of fanciness. You can put the scarf clip right there carefully over some of the faux pearls. Let me see if it fits over all three. I think if you if you put it this way, oh, that must be a little sticker I had on there. Let's see if you wear it downward if it covers all of them. You want to be really careful. Maybe not. Maybe it can only cover like the bottom strand or something. But nonetheless, you have a gold tone scarf clip that you can wear as a pendant at any time you wish. And I do love the texture on that. The bracelet was really tough to match, so you'll have to forgive me on this one. My matchings have been really good, but this one, I just had this bracelet that was the closest I could find. And these gorgeous, super high quality glass faux pearl earrings. This is in a bow style, which is why I brought this gold tone piece in. Now these match exactly, they're not exactly the same as the necklace. So perhaps you can use these with something else or maybe you just don't mind. But there you go, there's your necklace, 56 inch necklace, a beautiful faux pearl stretch uh, bracelet and these glass pearl and gold tone uh, pierced earrings, they are these are oldies, they're really nice quality. So there's the back of them. And there you go, such a beautiful old, old set. So bag number nine, rosy Japan. Lots of ways you can wear this necklace. You can wear it long like a flapper or wear it two times around or all three. So in goes your bracelet, in goes your really quality earrings and your lovely scarf clip and your really long, beautiful Japan necklace. So see why you need a little extra room on that string? Because if you want to wear it three times wrapped around, then you're going to want that room so the beads don't crunch together. So I hope you love it. I think it's a precious, precious necklace. And you see when I wrap it like this, 
now it's starting to sort of get some tension in it. So that's why you need that extra room on that string, just so you know. I did it. I said, just so you know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, Rosy Japan. I didn't write the measurement of the bracelet because we know it's a stretch. Um, but for this old baby, glass pearls, super nice earrings. I'm going to say 52 on this. So Rosy Japan, 52. If you love it, let me know. And I will get it off to you, no problem. Now, do we have time for a couple of extra pieces? Let's try. Okay. Here we go. So if you want any of these pieces, just let me know the name of the video, the timestamp of when I show the piece, a brief description of it, and the price. Okay, it's pretty much the same, only you're not having a bad number. So let's see what we can do with some of these pieces from our 45 pound lot. We have a sterling silver necklace. It is an older sterling silver chain and it has a really cute little palm tree on it. It's all sterling, it's marked and tested and it's just a cutie. It measures 18 inches, and I'll say $12 on the sterling necklace. Next is this Genuine Pearl pendant. Now, I tried to take this off of this wiry thing, so I apologize for this piece that it's on, but I couldn't take it off of it and put it on something else. So just consider this piece as something that's holding this until you get it and do what you want with it. But this is a real genuine pearl. It's so pretty. It reminds me of the pearl ring that I have. And are those rhinestones on the side? No, it's just meant to look like it has, it has them. And there's the back. And again, it's just on this because something to hold on to it. So I'm going to say, for this pendant, we'll do $12, okay? Next is this very beautiful, probably Czech glass, faceted bead on the end, a square bead here, and just some beautiful, really tiny faceted black beads, and some little, like a turquoise color, uh, pearlescent seed bead in between. I'll try to give you a good look. Isn't that so beautiful with all the facets? This is on sterling silver. It has a really hefty clasp. Beautiful, beautiful clasp. So this must be an important piece. It is signed... What is it signed? I should have it written down. Emily... Oh boy, I can't read my own writing. Emily Ray? It probably says Emily Ray. I did look that up and could not find who that person was, but I hope you can see it there. Let me do this. Emily Ray. And it's all sterling, beautiful purple, I mean, sorry, pink crystals at the top, and just a very lovely, lovely piece. This measures um, 19 inches. Again, lots of sterling, beautiful faceted beads, and I'll say 22 on that piece. Next, we have a sterling silver again. Really lovely. Older chain, it's probably 925 Italy spring ring clasp and it's a tiny little like a box chain and at the end is this beautiful cubic sarconia and sterling silver cross isn't that so pretty it's got some good weight to it it's marked on the back as well and it's marked on the little bale so let me see if i can show you the marks with the 
the loopy. Um, not sure we can understand what they are. Okay, but there's the 925, and I don't know what that signature is. But it certainly is sterling cubic zirconia. I did test everything. Now, and this chain just feels like just heaven. It's a really nice, well-made chain. It measures um, 18 inches, and I'll say 30 on that piece. I better get going. Um, this sterling silver necklace I put together. I found this in our 45 pound bag. It is on sterling silver. It's a Millefiori little pendant, and it's marked there, and I put it on a nice sterling chain that also says probably 925 Italy. Now, what were these pendants called? Oh, it says AMV on the pendant, and these pendants were selling for, oh boy, like 35 45 just themselves. So I think my price for everything, the chain and this beautiful glass piece from Italy, on an Italy chain, is $49. Yes, and it also has this nice lobster clasp on the chain, too. Sorry, I'm not doing the best job I could do. Can't remember if I measured it. Um, 18 inches on the chain. Very nice sterling chain and pendant for 49 Okay, so let me know what you think of that one. I'll try to hurry and add a few more. This is a beautiful stone. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? I probably put it on a vintage chain. Well, not too vintage because it's got a lobster clasp. But I think I matched the gold tone. That's what I did. So it is an amethyst. I tested it and it does test as amethyst. It's not on solid gold, it's gold plated. But it's a beautiful necklace. And there's the back. And it measures 18 inches. Very rich gold tone color to it. And I'll say 17 on that piece. I'd love to empty this necklace thing right here. Okay, this is just, I mean, who doesn't love a puffy heart? Again, I got out a sterling silver chain, a spring ring clasp. This is, I wish I knew the name of all the chains. I think they just call this a link chain, but it's really in great shape. And I put the puffy heart on the end. The heart is not all sterling, but it's sterling plated, great condition, and the chain is sterling. So that way, if you need to wear real metals, you won't have any issues because the chain is all sterling. So it's an 18 inch chain with a puffy heart, and I'll say 25 on that piece. This one I almost put together in a jewelry bag, and I might do that still, but let's see how it goes today. This I put on a really long chain, has a lobster clasp, and it's just, again, your regular link chain, but in great shape, a nice long chain with this um, not quite repose, I guess, or stamped out silver tone heart. It's just pretty. This is not a sterling chain. It's one of those just good quality pieces. And it's over 30 inches long with the beautiful heart on it. And I'll say 15 on that piece. Okay, we might as well do the last chain that's on my necklace thingy up there. Okay, this says S-A-Q Avon. But yeah, it's just a chain. So maybe I should wait till I can find a pendant. The problem is I have to get the pendant over this little jade ball that's on the on the chain. I have to get the pendant to fit over all of that. So, all right, we'll put that one back up there until I can find something to put on on that piece. 
Oh, I could probably show you this too. This is all sterling silver. It is called um, Snowflake Obsidian, I believe. And then it has faceted glass beads in between, but everything is sterling. These big beads are sterling. The ones in between, these are all sterling silver, solid. Solid sterling, it's a very, very nice piece. Of course the clasp as well so very substantial with all the sterling and that beautiful snowflake obsidian stone let's see what this one measures this is six and a half with a toggle clasp and I'm gonna say um, 49 on this it's a lot of sterling and a lot of um, beautiful stone. So 49. Hope you love it. Okay, you know what I'm going to have to do now? Maybe remind you one more time of how to contact me, capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Let me know the episode number, a brief description of what is in the bag, the bag number, and the price given. Okay, and I'm going to go make the prettiest thumbnail that I can so that when you come on to YouTube next time, you're gonna wanna click on my video. I'll have to bring out a bunch of jewelry from the jewelry bags as well, but we'll get started right here and take it from there. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad that you're here. I love that you're here. You make this channel everything that it is. So thank you very, very much. Please subscribe and click the like button on your way out. And let me know that you're watching. I do love to know when you're watching. And click that bell so you're notified. I've got lots more stuff to show you. Remember this 50 gram sterling silver ring? Wow, lots of more things. So thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Come on, thumbs up at the bobbles. Bye.